Hello, students. Let's talk about question number 10. Based on the question, we know the null hypothesis H0, P is 0.5, and alternative hypothesis H1 is P is not 0.5. And the alpha is 0.05, and now an alternative hypothesis would be, so here because it is it's not equal, so we choose this one. And obviously the test is two-tailed. Now for the sample, and is 700 people, and 52% and the cat. This is p hat. 0.52. We need to get p value. First, before we get the p value, we need to get the test statistic. And how to compute that? So, first, we based on this formula. So, z is equals p hat 0.52. 2 minus 0.5p and divided by square root of and p is 0.5 1 minus p is 0 0.5 0 0.5 and divided by n so we get the test statistic and then we could get the p value because this question is about two tailed. We put here two tailed. So how to get, get the p-value? P-value actually the both tails, those airy. So we could get the left one and times two. So let's get the left one, left tail is equals norm s distribution negative this one cumulative so choose choo. and we need double so both tail so for the both tail the area or the is uh, two times this so we get this number so fail to ch reject the null null hypothesis we also see if p is high that means greater than alpha let the null hypothesis fly so that means we have failed to reject the h not we have no enough evidence to support the alternative hypothesis. Other question, suppose P is low, less than alpha, we say the null hypothesis must go, must go. So we reject the null hypothesis. Here we only choose this. So we choose fail to reject the null hypothesis and we input the p value here is 0, 0 0.29. Let's check the answer. 0.29. 